No matter what your reason for traveling is, whether it's for business, travel, or school, there's always going to be something to see somewhere in the world. But there are a ton of difficulties in some countries more than others. And you might be wondering what you can do to minimize the difficulties. And we're here to answer those questions with our top 10 travel tips for this mysterious country. So buckle up your seatbelts, get ready for an adventure to China. Tip number 10. Prepare for your stay. As a foreigner, visitor, or whatever it may be, if you aren't a legal resident of China, you won't be allowed to stay at any Chinese hotels. Not all hotels in the country can get approval for international accommodations. But if you book your hotel in advance through an international travel agency online or offline, you should be fine. Don't worry though, many of the cheap local hotels in small cities aren't necessarily a good place to stay, so you're good there. Just remember, book and prepare in advance. Tip number 9. Bargain for your price. If you're planning to go shopping at the local markets, you should certainly try bargaining to lower the price of the goods you want to buy. A lot of the shop owners offer prices that are much higher than the usual price because you're a foreigner. Go ahead and try grabbing your friends or your tour guides with you to help you haggle the price. Tip number 8. Be confident, you'll need it. For a lot of people, cultures, and countries, it can be rude to stare at other people, especially people you don't know. For the most part, there isn't that kind of unspoken rule in China. If you're planning to visit more rural areas, you'll definitely attract more attention and people will surely stare. Please don't be offended, they are just curious, and if you get the chance, go ahead and talk to them. They are absolutely friendly and welcoming. Tip number 7. There will be bad local tourists. No matter where you go, there will always be bad tourists. But in China, there are some Chinese tourists just take it a step too far. If you stay long enough in China, You'll surely see them, cutting lines, throwing garbage, spitting on the floor, even as far as to climb trees to get better selfie angles. Although these are less frequent in recent years, with the younger generation being more civilized, you'll just have to be prepared for the unexpected. Tip number 6. Be ready to lose your personal space. With the largest population in the world, during your stay in China, there will surely be a lack of personal space. It is very likely that people will bump into you or step on your toe for a few times, and they may behave as if nothing happened and walk away without apologizing. For them, they really don't think it's a big deal, and accordingly so since it happens quite a lot. If you really want to avoid these things as much as possible, go ahead and check the calendar first. Plan your trip to China before or after the major Chinese holidays. That way, you can avoid the mass of Chinese tourists during your stay in China. Tip number 5. Practice your chopsticks. Most Chinese restaurants only provide their customers with chopsticks, and most restaurants don't even have forks in their storage room. So either you always bring a fork with you, or you can start learning how to use chopsticks. It's definitely a good chance to learn something new.
Tip number four, always have a translator. Be it a friend, tour guide, or even your own phone, always have a translator ready. China has thousands of dialects. If you travel to some rural area of China, the language that the local people speak is probably way different from the traditional Chinese language. So it's definitely better to have a translator app with you, such as Google Translator or either Microsoft Translator. It will help you understand the signs, menus, and even communicate with the locals a lot easier. Tip number three, don't bother driving. Much like many of the Asian countries, driving in China, specifically the major cities like Beijing, can be crazy. If you are set on really renting a vehicle to drive, you'll probably be end up stuck in traffic for a couple of hours. Other drivers are so aggressive and don't even hesitate to cut lines and or ignore many of the traffic rules. So take advantage of the amazing public transportations of China with their subway and taxi systems. Tip number two, be ready for the bathroom situation. Bathrooms in China are probably different from what you're used to. Especially in smaller cities, some bathrooms don't have sitting toilets. They only have squat toilets, which is just a hole in the ground where you either pee or do the other business. Always carry some toilet paper with you while you are in China. Although most of the fancy shopping malls in big cities do provide people with free toilet paper, a lot of bathrooms and attraction sites don't. So do yourself a favor and grab some toilet paper from your hotel room and carry it with you. Tip number one, VPNs are the most important app. The moment you enter the Chinese airspace, you will not be able to use these apps that are blocked by the Chinese government. So make sure you have a VPN before you come into China. Otherwise, you won't be able to access websites and apps like Facebook, Google, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and even WhatsApp. All the reliable VPN providers are also blocked inside China so you wouldn't even be able to get a VPN inside. You can use someone else's VPN to get access and grab yourself a VPN, but that's just more hassle to you and to your friend. So avoid all the problems that will come up and just grab yourself a VPN and save yourself the trouble. With an endless list of destinations, activities, and experiences this mysterious and eye-catching destination has to offer, each and every journey will always fill you with something different and unique. Were there any other travel tips that we haven't mentioned? Comment down below and we'll be sure to check them out. What are you waiting for then? Gather your travel buddies, buckle in your seatbelts, and get ready for an adventure. And with that, until next time.